All right, so number 23, or number 32, the line L passes through the point negative 2, 1 and has a slope of 1 third. Um, so this is not my slope intercept um, or my y intercept, so I need to definitely make sure that I have a point and I have a slope. So I need to use point slope form. Now it needs to be in standard form finally. So ax plus by is equal to c. But first I'm going to use point slope form. So that's going to give me the equation. Um, I'm going to use this point and this slope. So that's going to be y minus 1 is equal to 1 third times x plus 2. All right, I'm going to distribute. So that's going to give me y minus 1 is equal to 1 third x uh, plus 2 thirds. I'm so sorry. I gave you all a gross value. So this is going to become, actually, hold on. Let's do it this way. We're going to, since it's going to be in standard, we're not putting it into slope intercept form. I'm going to go ahead and get rid of my fraction now. So I'm going to multiply my whole equation by 3. So this is going to become 3y minus 3 is equal to. Now, because this is grouped, I only need to distribute that 3 to the 1 third. So then that just becomes 1. So then that becomes x plus 2 on this side. So now I just need to add 3 to both sides. Okay. That's going to give me 3y is equal to um, x plus 5, and then I need to move my x over. So then that becomes negative x plus 3y is equal to 5. Now I need to distribute or uh, divide by negative 1, or rather just switch all my signs so that it falls in the standard form requirement that the a is positive. So that's going to become x minus 3y is equal to negative 5. Number 33, what is the equation of the line with the y-intercept of negative 3 and the slope of 4? So this is really easy. All we're doing is I'm saying y is equal to our slope, which is 4, and x, and then our y-intercept is negative 3, so that is the point 0, negative 3. This is our b value. b is equal to negative 3, so that's going to be minus 3. It is that easy. Number 34, a slope has a, or a line has a slope of 2 thirds and a y-intercept of negative 5. So again, just like above, but now we're going to add another step to it because now we need it in standard form. So I'm going to say y is equal to 2 fifths x minus 5. I'm going to move my x over. So this is going to become negative 2 fifths x plus y is equal to negative 5. I'm going to multiply everything by negative 5 to get rid of that. And the reason I'm saying negative 5 instead of just 5 because I want that negative to go away. So then this is going to become 2x minus 5y is equal to positive 25. Number 35, what is the solution to the following system? So I'm going to take this value here that's already solved for us and plug it in for y. So I'm going to say 2x uh, not plus, minus 3 times negative x plus 9 is equal to negative 12. Be careful when you're distributing. You have to distribute that negative. So this becomes negative 2x, positive 3x, and then that's going to become minus 27, and that's going to be equal to negative 12. Combine like terms, that becomes 5x minus 27 is equal to negative 12. Add 27, add 27. Um, let me see, I'm going to make give myself more room here. Okay. So 27 minus 12 gives me 15. So 5x is equal to 15. So x is going to be equal to 3. Now remember, a solution, you have an x and a y value. So I need to plug it back in. So I'm going to say y is equal to negative 3 plus 9. Negative 3 plus 9 will give me positive 6. So the solution is 3, 6. I will go over this next question in the next video.